Hello. So, um, yeah. Gonna glue the stator uh, thing. Gonna glue these uh, spacers to the metal. I uh, use the sandpaper uh, on the metal and as well on the spacers. Hard to see, but I really did. Um, gonna use the two-part epoxy to um, to glue the whole thing, and uh, I need around 12 grams in total. I think it was. So gonna use six of each, but my bottle is leaking, so. Mm. Yeah, I want something to sort of don't get my hands dirty. So I start off with the gross, uh, the gross bottle with tape on it because it didn't help at all. Not sure what I tried to do there, but. Uh, it certainly was not. Ah, fuck. I failed. Okay. So, I'm not sure if you can read it, but. There's a long way to go. Almost at six. Okay, slightly over, no problem. Um, too bad I still got dirty hands. But at least I tried. Usually I uh, I don't even try to keep them clean. So this is the failure of this bottles, by the way. If you squeeze it, you can see it has this kind of lip or dent. And it will leak here. In uh, this one, will leak soon as well, which is quite uh, stupid because the bottle is not even um, half empty. So it's just a stupid, stupid bottle they chose. Okay, so we have to go slightly over uh, twelve. Okay, almost there. I think that's okay. Now I got some, um, I didn't mention it in the stuff you needed, but I probably will run into stuff that I didn't mention anyway, because I also cut these to size, of course, so you might need a circular saw of uh, some sort. Now this is uh, quite uh, thick, as you can see. I'm gonna try to mix it, but to put it on the plastic or the HPL, I might want it to be a little bit thinner than this. And you can achieve that by uh, heating it up. But there is one downside. It is 10 minute epoxy and it becomes like sort of five minute epoxy. And it doesn't uh, completely harden in 10 minutes, but uh, the pot life is 10 minutes. So it should be sort of this consistency and workable for 10 minutes. And then it becomes more like a gel. If you heat it, you can get it to a watery state even, but then the 10 minutes uh, will be like eight or seven minutes. So if you're fast enough, it's the way to go. If you're not, you end up with um, thick crap in the end. Quite yellowish. Did I use more harder than the uh, resin? No. I'm gonna heat it up a little bit by the lamp. Because it's quite quite hot. It's a classic old power hungry lamp. No LED here. Here it's already thinner. 
Makes the mixing a little bit easier. Okay, so it's quite smooth. I'm gonna put this here, remove this scale. And then uh, we're gonna put all the stuff on, on, on this HPL. Hopefully without putting loads of it on my hand, but we'll see about that. Probably I will. I'll just pour it over. And uh, I got a garbage bag underneath it, as you can see. And there's a good reason for it, because garbage bags, in the Netherlands at least, are made, most bags by the way, are made of uh, low density polyethylene. And uh, it's it's the sort of fatty, fatty plastic, just like um, nylon and polypropylene. And uh, epoxy doesn't stick to it, so we're gonna use this ability or disability depending on what you want to do but okay so got some of it everywhere sort of I just have to take it in my hand and, and just Do it a bit like this, I think. And hopefully, I don't get it too much on my hand. Because usually it's not a big deal to get epoxy on your hand, but if you do it often enough, you can uh, get an allergic reaction to it. But usually people don't have this allergic re uh, reaction uh, the first several times. You can sort of grow an allergic thingy for it. So rather not spill it on your hands. That's my advice. Saying while not wearing gloves. But that's not the point. Okay, so almost covered in it. And I'm just, I might just stick it on right away. Mm. Well, we got enough time to reposition it. Shit, it's on my hands. Well, didn't expect that one. Didn't see that coming at all. So, I am out of frame, I know. Also, it's everywhere. Do my hands again. Put it on my hands. Um, Remove it a little bit from my hands. So that's all that's my hand. Just a few cups from this, especially. So if you're at work, the machine you get these cups like a, because they're really nice. They give you a cup or at least fifty cups or so. My phone was full, of course. But yeah, I was saying this Nespresso, uh, they're pretty nice. They give you uh, fifty cups or something after uh, spending um, loads of money on coffee, like um, a few hundred euros. So they're very generous. But then again, it's free, so. And you might just think that's just my opinion. Okay, I'm gonna drop in these as well. I'm supposed to be here, I think. And uh, that's the reason why uh, why put like this. I'll show you. Yeah. Um, okay, so I had a drop of the stuff here, and um, what works good for uh, epoxy is um, um, what's it called? Ah, can't find the name. No, <laughs> can't think of it, but I will use uh, alcohol right now because I don't have the other stuff. It's the stuff where you can uh, etch, you can etch with it, and you can um, clean your um, coffee maker and such. Ah, it's really annoying. Well, these sides have to be clean because uh, the miner will be on this uh, piece of plastic. And it has to be as flat as possible, so no drops of epoxy here, or there shouldn't be. 
so it's all nice and clean. Okay, nice. And uh, you put a piece here in the middle. And then we're gonna put some heavy material on it. But first we're gonna put some plate of HPL over it. Or anything else that is uh, sort of rigid to distribute the weight a little bit better. Jesus. That's 25 kilos and we got some more, I think. Sorry. Whew. So there we go. And just leave it there for uh, the next, well, night in this case. Tomorrow will be ready. And I got one here that I did already. So, um, it's too close for the camera, I think. Uh, but as you can see, you can see that the, the epoxy, it went into all these holes. And it makes a really strong bond this way. And also nice is you can see that the panel is quite clean. There's no uh, shit all over the place. And no piece of plastic either. So you can see that the garbage bag really didn't adhere at all. So that's really nice. So that's one panel done. And the second one uh, sitting here doing its thing and then uh, I'm going out and have a beer, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, see you uh, when this one is dry.